and I will be your instructor for today's The Little Gym at Home Virtual Class. So this class is for the parent and child age group from 10 months all the way to 2.11 years old. Okay, so before we begin, um, uh, please make sure that you have enough room to run around in or to move around in for your own safety. Also, just to remind you everybody that if your little ones get interested in other things in the middle of this video, it's totally fine. And you can always just go back to our Facebook page to watch the video. Okay, so now, do you have your bells and your shakers ready? Okay, can you shake them way up high first? Shake them way up high. And shake them or tap them on the floor. Good job. We are going to sing the hello song with the help of my ching, my ukulele. <laughs> Right. Can you shake your bells first? Shake. Show me again. Can you shake your bells up high? And shake, shake, shake your bells and sing along with me. Oh, everyone, please shake your bells and sing along with me. How do you do? Everybody, how do you do? How do you do? Everybody, how do you do? The biggest hip hip hooray! <laughs> Great singing, everybody! Thank you so much for shaking your bells along with me. All right, so today our theme is called floor fun. So what do we mean by that? It's literally getting down on the floor to play around and to have some fun. Okay, so we are going to show your little ones that it's okay to do just that. Okay, so parents and adults, please don't be afraid to let your hair down in this class. Okay, so the more playful you are, the sillier you are, the better. Okay, so studies have shown that a child's physical, social, cognitive, and emotional growth it can be developed through play or by playing with other people. Okay, so today we're going to play. Right, with our little ones, show them how to have fun on the floor. Our name activity, we will be doing what we call a back boogie do. Okay, so in the back boogie do, we are going to uh, bring them, rotate them backwards. Okay, so I'm gonna show you first what we're gonna do. Okay, so after we do the back boogie do, I'd like for you to tell me your name. Okay, nice and loud. Okay, so I'll show you first. So sit down, parents and adults sit down with your knees bent like this. Let them sit down on your feet with their backs on your shin. Watch my hands, put it in front of you first and then flip it over, making sure that your thumbs are on their, their chest. Okay, so I'm going to rock back and forth just to get them used to the feeling. Then I will lie down on my back, bring my feet up, making sure catch it, to catch them by the hips. Flip them over and let them land on there. Well done. Did you get that? Seems really cool, right? So, I'll do it one more time. Okay, a little bit faster this time. As I do the chant also, okay? Just like this. Hello, everybody. How do you do? Would you like to rotate in a back? Whoopty do. Whoa! Sorry, bunny. Okay, now, um, make sure that they're really stable before you let them go, okay? Or they're really steady, right? Before you release your hold on them, okay? So, um, after you do that, um, you're gonna say your name out loud. So, again, my name is Teacher Jazz, and this is Bunny. Hi! <laughs> now, it's your turn, everybody. So, I'm gonna do the chant for you, right? Are you ready? Hello, everybody. How do you do? Would you like to it in a back? Whoop you do! Oh, you did it! And your name is. Hi, nice to meet you. And you're with mommy, daddy, Ate Kuya. Hi. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for trying it out. Give yourselves a big hand today. All right, thank you so much, everyone. Now, we are going to start with our warm up. So, the warm up is a perfect time for them to practice their listening skills and also to expand that energy that they have inside of them. Okay, so the warm up uses directive music, meaning the music will tell us what to do. Okay, so later on, um, when it says fall down, I want everyone to gently fall down 
on the floor with your little ones. So today our theme is floor fun. Okay, so also um, if uh, your little one is still learning how to walk or a non-walker, right, there are some activities that will um, ask them to move around. So if you're still finding your balance, you can just um, uh, let them stand first with their feet apart. Okay, let your little one stand with their feet apart as you hold on to their hips or hold on to their upper thighs just to help them balance or find their balance okay if they can move about move around a little bit that's when you can start with assisted walking this is when you hold on to their elbows and you walk behind them okay just um staying behind them and guiding them as they take tiny steps now if they're really confident to move about okay, you can do the activities beside them or with them also okay now are you ready everybody to run around okay i'm just gonna play the music oh again if they get interested in other things in the middle of this activity or in the middle of the video uh, no worries you can always um check uh, go back to our facebook page to watch it again okay are you ready here we go are you ready to gently fall down and wrestle around with your yes, child? Yes, I'm ready! When you do, fall gently. Let's All start right. off with So again, the for the non-walkers, you can so, find your balance first, right? Okay. And for my, uh, you can also do assisted walking. Everybody go, and nothing you know. So we are putting on the ground. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much for helping your little parents and adults just walk. Then walk on your knees. You can stand up and have walk and freeze. This time, you can do it a little bit faster. Or maybe if you'd like to run, you go Carry your little one. This way. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Wrestle around with your child. Hug your little one. You can tickle them. Just wrestle them. Move their legs. Move their hands. Move their hands and their feet. Alright, at the same time. Very gentle rub and freeze. The child is challenged right, to organize time. their body and plan their movements. This is actually a recommended motor skill activity for one to three year olds. Ah, I see that. Now, everyone, let's go for a bear walk oh. and get ready to fall down okay. and wrestle Instead around. Instead of again. doing a bear walk, right, now, you can just crawl around. For my non walkers, again, you can like, sit down in the middle and just crawl around them. Being so and freeze everybody. Kids, parents, that's really important. Now let's stand up and go for a gallop. Okay. But this time when you fall down, kids, I'll pause this one first. Grab and tickle your mom or dad. All right. Now this time we are going to do some gallops today. Okay. So just like what I mentioned, okay. For those who are still practicing or still finding their balance, you can just stand first with their feet apart, hold on to their hips, upper thighs. Just let them balance and find their balance. Okay, now, for the galloping, okay, for those who are uh, still learning how to walk by themselves, okay, you can hold on to their hips first and then use your hand to move them sideways. And as you do so, you say open and close, open and close. So at this age, right, uh, they're still getting used to the feeling of moving forward. So moving sideways is pretty foreign still for them. Okay, now the other foot, you might notice it will just automatically follow. So just open and close the feet, open and close, making sure you're holding on to their ankles and to their upper body. Now, if um, they can move by themselves already, right, you can help them out by holding on to their elbows, right, uh, standing behind them and placing one foot in between their feet or their legs and use your foot to open and close their feet. Open and close, open and close. And then this is how they start to learn how to gallop. Open and close, open and close. Thanks for holding on to their elbows. Now, from there, 
if you think that they got it already, you can just hold on to their elbows, right? And then say open and close, see if they can move their feet on their own. Okay, open and close, open and close. Okay, now it's your turn. Right, your turn to do the gallops. Ready? Here you go. Grandma or Grandpa or Danny or whoever you're with, go gallop. Everybody now, I'll start the dance. Okay. Okay. You can also let them tickle you like, this time around, okay? Hey parents, before you stand up, when you get down on the right, floor free, and free, play and wrestle around with your young child, please raise your hand if it makes you feel a little bit younger yourself. Are you raising your hands? <laughs> I'm raising mine. Can I say more? Okay. All right, let's Three. stand up and go for another run. Uh, let's run again everybody one more time, now. everybody. Stand up and run this way. Run this way. Thanks for running. You're really fast. You're really, really active. And I'm going to run and run. Run and freeze. How about you turn around? Turn around. Let's go to the other way. Run. Run. Great job for running by yourself. Everybody, that was really superb. Give yourselves a big, big hand today. Thanks so much, everybody, for uh, using your listening ears today. So now we are going to start with our group activity. So um, in the group activity, this is where we usually uh, use different kinds of equipment to help your little ones understand different kinds of concepts. Okay, so for today's group activity, we will be using, since our theme is floor fun, we will be using a blanket. Right, so this will serve as our parachute for the day. Okay, so later on, um, because the music is also directive, right? So it will ask us to place our little ones on top of the parachute. Okay, so if they can balance already, you can let them sit down, or just to be safe, let them lie down on their back or lay down on their tummy. Okay, and then also later on, um, if your little ones are still learning how to find their balance, you can just always let them stand with their feet apart as you hold on to their hips and their upper thighs. Okay, now if they're a little bit more confident to do things by themselves, right, just let them do so. Okay, you're gonna be there to guide them anyways. Okay, so um, also the music later will ask, will say, rather will say, um, do a forward roll. Um, instead of a forward roll, we will just practice the partner love rolls since today is all about um, having fun on the floor together, okay? Playing on the floor together, all right? So, are you ready, everybody? I'm gonna go play the music. Let's go listen. We're all going to be going on top of the parachute after each section of music. Right, Please hold on to the parachute and walk to the right until the music tells you to breathe. To the right. Then the music will tell you how to lift and move the parachute and finally to put the parachute on the ground. Have fun! Alright, let's stand up. One is on the parachute.
should now be on the floor. Make sure no kids are underneath. Everyone, let's go on top of the parachute for some floor fun. Have your child lie on their back with their feet facing you. Parents, grab their ankles and get ready to move their legs around fast and funny. In five, four, three, two, one. Open and close oh, their open legs. Close their legs. Open, open and close their legs. 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 Now shake them out. Shake them out. Shake, 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 shake the legs all about. Shake, 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 now it's and time please. once again to go out of the parachute right. and grab onto the edge. This time I'm going Pause to carry the music if you need more time. I'm going to carry Bunny. All right. He said you're going to hey, gallop. Kids, please hold on to, to the, the parachute with your parents hold and let's on. gallop to the left until the music tells us to freeze. All right. Go. Just like when we did in the warm up. Water on the parachute. Parachutes, watch the instructor. Oh, they will do freeze. a forward roll on do top of the parachute. On the count instead. of three. Okay, of now we'll be ready. One, on my back. two, three. Oh, one Give your instructor a hand. Hello. Hey kids, now it's your turn. Yeah. Try some forward right. rolls or at least go upside down for a while. Be sure you don't. All right, this time. I did the partner log roll with Bunny. Okay, so we're going to do that first. Alright, so <clears throat> we're gonna start off by lying down. Go chest to chest with your little one first. Lie down on your back as you support his uh, or, or as you support their their um their hips or under hip area. One hand will be on the neck. Right, you're going to lie down and as you roll, make sure you push with your knees and your, your elbows so as not to squish your little ones. Okay, let's go back. Go push, push, and there we go. Just like that. Bunny, can you show everybody? Ta-da! Ta-da! Thank you, Bunny, baby hand. All right, now, I'm going to show you also later right, how to help them do it by themselves if they can already. Okay, this is a fun way for you right to roll around on the floor together this also helps them become more confident in rotating because you're doing it with someone that they trust okay here we go up into your neighbors go now let, let them lie down flat on their back right just ask them to put their arms up and then give them a gentle push if you want them to try the log roll by the or with a little bit of help for you, of course. Please and hug your free. child. Give them a nice big hug. Time to hug your child. And sway side to side. Sway side to side. For a little love ride. And freeze everybody. Can you give yourself a big, big hand first? Thank you so much, guys. I really love how everyone's very active and um, everyone's participating during the group activity. Now, it's time for us to start with our full body three workout. So this is the part of the class wherein we introduce three different activities that you can try out at home. Okay, so since today our theme is floor fun, all of the activities will be done on the floor okay, with the help of our blanket. So I hope you didn't keep yours yet. We're going to use it um, for, for the three activities today. Okay, so um, also, I'm pretty sure that all adults still have that tiny bit of playfulness inside of them. So please don't be afraid to show your little ones how to have fun on the floor. 
Okay, so show them how to play or roll around on the floor. So be as playful as you can be. Okay, so um, first activity would be to do some rough house play using the blanket. So to put it simply, um, rough house play is a form of play where you get really rowdy with each other but not to the point that you hurt each other already. Okay? So you just get really, um, really playful, really silly. So this is a controlled type of play. Okay? So you can wrestle with them, tickle with, tickle them, right? Maybe they can even tickle you back. Right? So just any form of play that you have to get really physical with each other. Okay. So um, one thing that uh, one rough house play that you can do with the blanket is to stay inside or to stay underneath the blanket. And then you can wrestle with your little one inside, give them lots and lots of hugs and kisses, maybe even tickle them, right, as you're um, inside or underneath. Okay. Um, rough house play actually has a lot of benefits, especially in a developing child, right? So it helps them um, make um, better decisions, like how will they interact or how will they play with their playmate also. Right? Um, it also helps them learn how to trust their playmate, how to manage their emotions, and also to control their different body parts or how to control their movement. Okay, so um, it might seem like it's nothing, right? but it's actually really, really helpful um, to them if they do a lot of rough house play, especially at a very young age. Okay, so another thing that you can do with a blanket Right. You can wrap your little one's body, and wrap them with a blanket, wrap the blanket around them, and then maybe you can tickle them, right? tickle their tummy, tickle their feet. Right? Just make sure, parents and adults, that you look at their facial expression also because uh, you never know, they might be uncomfortable already and you just keep on tickling them, right? Just watch out for the different facial cues as well. Okay, so wrap them in a blanket, maybe even tickle them, okay? And maybe you can even switch it, right? You wrap the blanket around you, and your whole body, and then you let them tickle you. Now, if they're a little bit older, um, if they can already um, walk on their own, right? Or if they can balance by themselves already, maybe you can ask them to be the one to pull the blanket so they can let their favorite stuffed animal sit in the middle of the blanket as they drive them around their room, just like what I did. Okay, now, um, for an even bigger challenge, <laughs> if you want to challenge your little one some more, maybe you can, the parent or the adult can sit down in the middle of the blanket and you ask your little one to try to give you a ride around the room. Okay, so again, this will for sure make um, a really good memory for both of you. Again, try to mix in a lot of laughter, a lot of playfulness, and a lot of tickling along the way. Right? Just to make it a great bonding time for both of you. So, the third activity would be to do some blanket sit-ups with your little one. So, I folded my blanket in half. And then I sort of um, rolled it so that it's it's easy to grip. Okay, so for this one, um, let your little one lie down in front of you first. For those who are um, younger, okay. So again, those who are still practicing how to balance and how to walk by themselves, you can let them lie down in front of you. Okay, let them hold the blanket. Right, grip it, and then um, you can place your hands on top of theirs just to encourage that uh, the the gripping feeling. Okay, so this will help with strengthening their hold on objects. So from here, right, if they're lying on their back. You just gently help them up, right? Help them up to a sit or all the way to a stand. Okay, make sure you smile really, really wide. Wow, or maybe even play a little game of peekaboo with your little ones and then just gently right, let them get down on their back again. So you can repeat, the, re, repeat this as many times as you want. Just gently pull them up, all the way to the top, high, and peekaboo, and peekaboo. And then again, let them lie down on their back. <laughs> Great job, parents, for playing peekaboo with your little ones. Okay, now, another variation for this one. If they can, um, if you're confident already, or if they're confident 
uh, with their grip strength already, right? You can sit face to face with your little one. So we're gonna play um, a little, it's sort of like tug of war, but with a twist. <laughs> okay, so I'll try my best to show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna um, sit with my legs out in front. Don't lie down yet, buddy. <laughs> sit with my legs in front. Okay, so I'm gonna hold on to this end of the blanket and then you let your little ones hold on to the other end of the blanket. Okay, make sure they're holding on tight or you can let another adult sit with your little one, let them sit on their lap. Right? Okay. And then so one one of one of you will start sitting down while the other will start <laughs> lying down. Okay, so the person sitting down will gently pull on the blanket to help you do a sit. So as you're going up, the other person will go down. Okay, and then um, you're and, and then you're gonna do you're gonna do it again. Okay, so this time you're gonna help your help your partner go up by gently pulling the blanket as you lie down on your back and then sit up again. Right, so this is a great tummy muscle workout for your little one and for the adult as well. Okay, so you can also do that as many times as you can or as many times as you want. Okay, so this will help them understand also the concept of um, working with one another and cooperating with each other. Right, that, that in order for him or her to stand up, you have to pull. And then it goes the other way. And freeze, everybody! Give yourselves a big, big hand, please. Great job, little ones. And great job, parents and adults, for doing the full body tea workout with me. I love how you guys are really, really excited and how you got really playful with your little one. Okay, so for today's ball time, right, I hope you have your small ball ready or your grabby ball. Um, we are going to do some rolling and catching on the floor. Okay, since today our theme is floor fun. Okay, so at this age or at a young age, right, it's much easier for them to track a ball that is rolling on the floor or easier for their eyes to follow a ball that is rolling on the floor than a ball that is thrown up high in the air, right, since they're still working on their eye-hand coordination. Okay, so we're going to roll the ball back and forth. Right, so you can sit face to face with your little ones or with your uh, with a friend. Right, sit in front of each other with your legs in a straddle position, meaning with your legs open. Right, so um, ask your little ones to cup their hands together. You're gonna try to catch the ball. Right, so try your best, also parents and adults, to to aim for their palms so that it's easier for them to scoop the ball up or to catch it with their hands also. So I'm going to roll it to bunny first. Ready? You can also count to three before you roll the ball. Okay. Count with me. One, two, three. So I'm going to roll. Give it a little push. Wow. Okay, and then as they scoop the ball, it's easier also for them to scoop instead of catching it like this first. Okay, so as they scoop the ball, right, ask them, to roll it back to you or to give it a little push. Okay, so we are also going to do, I'm going uh, I'm going to show you a short chant that you can um, say as you're playing with the box. It goes like this. Okay. I roll the ball to my mom and they roll it back to me. Okay, one more time. I roll the ball to my mom and they roll it back to me. Right. One more time. I roll the ball to my dad and they roll it back to me. Thanks so much for scooping it with your hands at all once. Right. One more time. I roll the ball to my dad and they roll it back to me. I got it. Wow. Freeze, everybody. Give yourself a big hand first, please. Okay, thank you so much. Even give your little ones a nice big hug or a kiss on their cheek or on the top of their heads because they did a great job in catching the ball with their hands. Thanks, everybody. Okay, now, uh, we're going to move on to our bubbles. Okay, so for today's bubble time, um, we'll just have them lie down on their back. Okay, lie down on their back or lie down on their tummy as you blow bubbles all around them. 
So I'm gonna let Bunny stay in the middle of the, the room. Okay. So I have my bubbles ready. And then mix it a little bit. And then just blow the bubbles way up high. Easy for them to track it with their eyes. Okay, so just blow the bubbles. Blow the bubbles. Wow. Okay, so as um as the bubbles are floating way up high, um notice how they use their eyes to follow the bubbles. You can even ask them to pop the bubble with different body parts, pop it with their fingers, stomp with their feet also. Right? Well, look at that. Pretty big bubble. So as they're sitting upright and looking at the bubbles, this also helps them um, helps them out with uh, their balance. Figuring out how to stay upright while looking at the bubbles. There you go. Last one. And freeze. Alright. Give yourselves a big day and adults. And can you grab your little ones, please? Can you give them high fives, big high fives? High fives all around and a nice big hug for doing a great job today. Freeze, everybody. <laughs> give yourself a big, big hand. All right, thank you so much for attending today's The Little Gym at Home Session with me, Teacher Jazz, and my friend, Bunny. Okay, thank you so much, parents and adults, for showing your little ones how to have fun and how to play on the floor. Right. And also, great job today, little gym kids, for being very, very active and for listening to the instructions and for listening to your parents also. Okay. Can we give an, everybody another round of applause? Thank you so much. All right, so uh, we did a lot of floor activities today since our theme is floor fun. And right, so I hope you keep on practicing the three, uh, three body workouts that I have shown you earlier. Right, like the uh, uh, rough house play using the blanket, giving each other blanket rides, and also doing some blanket setups. So all of those activities will help strengthen your uh, little one's whole body. Okay. And it will also give you a great workout as well. All right, so, and given that, I also hope you set aside time each day or at least each week to have to do some floor activities with your little ones or with the whole family okay so it, it's actually very beneficial to kids who are still learning how to move about because it um letting them play on the floor gives them a lot of space to move around and to crawl around so at the same time it will help strengthen the muscles right help them understand how each body part moves also so there are a lot of benefits to having your little ones play on the floor, okay? Then just to have fun, all right? So um, again, our baby sign for today is play. So before we go, can we go sing one last song? Okay, can we sing Ring Around the Rosie? Okay, so let's stand up, everybody. You can carry your little one or you can just let them walk around with you. All right, let's go sing, here we go. Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies, ashes, Ashes we all fall down. All right, then give your little ones a nice big hug. Or kiss them on the top of their head. And give yourselves a big hand on everybody. Thank you so much for coming to today's class. I really appreciate it. So we still have a number of the little gym at home classes, right, in the next few weeks. Okay, so um, after this class, right, maybe you can um, also spend some time on the floor as you read your little one's favorite book, right? Any book that they like or their favorite book at the moment. Okay, you can read it while lying down on your back on the floor. You read it together or maybe even on your tummy. That'll strengthen the neck muscles. <laughs> Alright, so thanks again everybody. Hope to see you soon. Let's go play your drums first, everyone. And play your drums. Play your drums and sing along with me. Oh, everyone, please play your drums and sing along with me. Bye, bye, everybody. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Bye, bye, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye, bye, everybody. Oh, bye, bye, everybody. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye, bye, everybody. It's time to go on home. And Mary Lee, roll along, roll along, roll along. Mary Lee, roll along really fast. And freeze everybody. Show me your strong muscles. Your big smiles.
say see you soon everybody thank you so much for playing with me and it's off to home we go see you soon